Hello to everyone, this is Adventure Story and thank you for watching my video. Today we will talk about uh, cargo pumping okay, system. As you can see here, our initial condition will be cargo pumping and I will press F1 and I will proceed to the home button to see what is happening. Please share my videos, put the likes, put more comments to discuss I will be glad about your comments okay and let's go to cargo pump system let's check number one and number two there is some alarms here let's check alarm let's press them yeah okay let's stop the acknowledge Number five, what is this? Low temperature, first water pump, this starts pressure. Okay. Eliminate. Go down, go down. Okay, now we are in the port. Our boiler is working. Let's go to our boiler. As you can see, both burners are working. Okay, everything is in auto. Let's check the pressure of the boiler, or file boiler, it's still bar, very nice. Okay, we have flow, temperature 226 degrees. Here is the flame. Okay, and our cargo pumps do their job. Lubol uh, some tank, it's okay. This is very important that our global system are working properly, okay? And as you can see here, from turbine, this is the returning oil from turbine. Okay, this is our level. From here we make up by pressing the left button and right button to close on the mouse, okay? The temperature of our global sun tank is 47 degrees Celsius. Here and as you can see, here is the suction point of our pump. There is electrical pump and driving by turbine pump. Okay, and then the oil is flowing here to the filter. The oil is filtering. Okay, and then we need to cool down our oil due to friction inside the components of turbine and the turning motion. There is a uh, tremendous heat of oil, so our oil needs to be cooled, okay? If we do not cool our oil, our oil uh, will damage and after that no lubrication will be occurred inside the components, okay? Our viscosity will be not proper, okay, not proper level, and then there is no protection to our machinery. As we know, turbine they turn high RPMs, okay. Here the RPM is 6000 RPM, okay. Uh, the main components inside is. Uh, connected with gears as you can see here it's a gear coupling okay next here we can see the flow okay as you can see the turbine have 6000 rpm with gear there is reduced to 1457 okay this means that we have uh, 4 to 1 uh, differential okay of gears this is the most uh, standard way to transfer the transmission between turbine and pump okay four to one also for uh, reducing from main engines to shaft speed i have experience in passing ship where our main engine was running Four stroke engines was running in 450 RPMs, and then they will be reduced by gears, same like this here, 
to 100, 110 RPM. Okay, this is four to one. If you read the books, you will see that uh, this is the most common way to reduce the power. Okay. And from here, what you can see, this is the Z number. The Z number, this is the humidity. We have stop valve here, from where we can stop the supply to the turbine. If I close this, let's set to zero, you will see here the RPM will be reduced and the pump will stop, okay? Let's set to zero. Let's say that Chief Officer call us and he say that he will stop the pump, he will reduce like that. And as you can see here what happened, the flow was completely stopped and then also the pump is stopped and the driving the body pump stopped and the electric stop starts uh, automatically, okay? When, uh, how this pump starts automatically? When the sensor uh, pressure sensor sensor okay will realize that the pressure is dropped some set point this will give a signal to the pump to start okay like this is the way working now what we have here our turbine is pulling down as you can see also the temperature of uh, exhaust is going out uh, it's going down there is no steam flowing inside our system uh, the best way is to wait to not close the exhaust immediately okay this exhaust is going to the condenser okay here when the turbine pump is stopped okay it's cooling down the remaining steam inside the pump will be condensed to the water okay we do not like to remain some water droplets inside the turbine because there is corrosion okay in the moving parts and also in the turbine at all okay uh, because we have here a vacuum pump and the vacuum is tremendous here when we have our let's go back exhaust little bit open okay about uh, 10 to 20 minutes we have to cool down okay uh, everything will be sucked by the vacuum and will drop here to the condenser okay this is the best way to maintain your pump also, there is some gland steam. This is the uh, gland steam is going here, this place. The gland steam, the main purpose, there is some labyrinth inside, is to seal, uh, to seal the turbine uh, steam. Okay, to not pass through the shaft and going uh, outside. Okay, uh, let's talk about uh, how to start the pump. Uh, the most, be the better way, okay, to start the pump is to start slowly. With this, we achieve a smooth start. Let's set to 10, 10 percent, okay. And also, your pump will slowly hit all the components okay and the temperature it's easy, easy increase also you avoid some vibration from rapid start okay because as you know as you know in your car when you press the gas to the limit the start will be really really strong okay and the components receive tremendous energy mechanical energy okay and kinetic energy next we will increase to 20 percent when we increase our turbine or if the folks recall and ask to increase you need 
to always maintain your boiler pressure and load. And if you are running in one boiler, you need to set up second boiler to run in parallel, okay? But here in this ship, in this kind of uh, simulator, we have only one boiler, which is a uh, very big boiler, it's type D boiler. In modern vessels, in nowadays, there is no place for this kind of boilers, but maybe you will see in some old ships, or some steam ships, something like that, or maybe bigger ships, 300,000 tons or 500,000 tons kind of ships. Okay, let's see our cargo pump turbine number three, number four. Everything is running, and what we can do? Okay, let's see what will happen if uh, we say our exhaust will be closed okay uh, this can occur if some valves have problem or someone will uh, close the valve without knowledge okay so if an engineer make some duty on board okay his assistant must properly train to not do that because they can occur uh, damage to property and personnel. First of all, what we will do, we will close the exhaust. Okay, let's say that Euler going there and he misunderstanding and he closed this valve. What will happen? Will occur back pressure high. Okay, I stop with uh, F12 and what is happening? Cargo pump trip. Okay, there is a coming trip. Okay, let's reset. We will open the valve and set to 10 to start. Okay, now our pump is working because we eliminate our problem. Okay, and everything is fine. What else we can do? We can open the drain, okay, to see what will happen. Nothing will happen because our supply of steam is much, much bigger than our this small drain, okay, pipe. And very important is before starting your turbine pump to drain the line properly, okay? And if the line is cold, if you operate in cold areas, it's better to leave your uh, bypass valve for the main line to heat, easy easy the line and to drain slowly. Because if you drain fast, this all hot uh, steam will be hammer your pipes and there is very dangerous because your joints and uh, gaskets maybe will blow out okay in the cold area you must remember it's very dangerous so next we will go to our condenser and very important the vacuum to be proper okay as you can see here our condenser pressure vacuum it's okay it's in the green zone, so our steam will condense here and cooled to transform to water, okay? In this part will remain only water, which will be sucked by the condensate pumps and will send to the feed filter tank, okay? The feed filter tank, which is here, here will send these two pumps from the condenser, okay? will send here. So, uh, sorry, mistake. Okay, we will send here to filter tank. Feed filter tank, as you can see here, have a steam tracing, steam heater. So to keep, as you can see here, 65 degrees. Why we heat the feed water? Uh, this is very important. The 
question is very nice. Why we keep the feed water? Why we cannot put cold water in a boiler? Yes, we can. But this is not proper. Imagine if you put cold water immediately by the feed pump to your hot boiler where is 204 degrees and 16 bar pressure and you put let's say uh, in the cold condition 25 degrees or 30 degrees water okay to 200 imagine what stress will be on your piping system here in the inlet okay and imagine what will happen inside the boiler okay also, cold water can achieve faster uh, rust and aggressive rust inside the boiler, okay? So, when we heat our uh, water to 65, we reduce the stress. Also, some bubbles will be left from here, this pipe, okay, will be removed. So our water will be feeded without oxygen. We do not like oxygen inside the boiler because the oxygen uh, it's corrosive. Okay, for the metal parts, this is why we need to heat our feed water tank. And remember, never heat more than 90 degrees because after that. There is a cure the evaporating processor, okay, procession, which is also need to avoid. Because why? Also here why? Because if you achieve close to the evaporation temperature, okay, as you can see here, your water, which will be evaporated, okay, will be sucked by the pump here. The pump, most of the pumps have negative suction with the negative suction means vacuum the pressure will be dropped and the water will evaporate in the less temperature okay in the less uh, yes temperature correct and then here will occur bubbles in your pump and then your impeller and impeller shaft will be damaged due to cavitation cavitation okay so avoid to overheat your water keep about 65 i believe this is the best set point yes from the program also okay and i believe for today it's okay thank you for watching i'm waiting for your comments please put your likes and share our videos so more people can learn and achieve best results in their job. Thank you for watching. This is the story. Bye bye.